Welcome to our demonstration on migrating virtual machines across hosts and storage. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to migrate a virtual machine between hosts and between different types of storage. Let's begin with Linux VM number one, which is on vSphere host number four. We will migrate this virtual machine to vSphere host number five using vMotion. We right click on the virtual machine and select Migrate, Change Host, and click Next. Select the destination resource which is vSphere host number five. We click next again. Here we have the option of reserving CPU resources for better vMotion performance. We keep the default settings and click finish. The virtual machine is now running on host number five. Note that the VM continued to run while the migration occurred. Now we will migrate a virtual machine between local direct attached storage and a shared NFS volume. We right click the VM and select migrate. We select the Change Data Store Radio button to change the data store the VM resides on. Click Next. We select the destination data store, which is the shared NFS volume. We click Next and then click Finish. We can see the progress of storage vMotion in the Recent Tasks section of the vSphere web client. We can now see the virtual machine has changed data stores, again without taking downtime, and it is now running on the shared NFS volume. Now, we will migrate a virtual machine between hosts and different data stores at the same time. We select Migrate from the menu and change both host and the data store. First, we select the destination host, host number 5. Click Next. Then, we select a new data store, Direct Attached Storage for host number 5. We have multiple options for the virtual disk format. In this case, we select Thin Provision. Click Next. Again, we have the option to reserve CPU for vMotion performance. We keep the default and click Finish. The migration may take several minutes and can be monitored in the Recent Tasks section. To demonstrate that the virtual machine is still running while the migration is occurring, we switch over to the VM console. We log in as root and run top to show the virtual machine is running while the migration between hosts and storage continues. We switch back to the vSphere web client to see that the migration is still in progress. After the migration is complete, we can see that the virtual machine is now running on host number 5 and direct attached storage that is connected to host number 5. This concludes our demonstration on migrating virtual machines across hosts and storage with no downtime. Thank you.